Uh, good afternoon, everybody. It is Mr. Sunshine Locksmith Eddie with a tutorial video here in a beautiful sunny South Florida day. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And uh, this is out for my dear friend Scott Schrader. That's right, Scott Schrader and his beautiful fiance, future wife Tara, uh, and their beautiful vintage classic. Lamborghini Countach. That's right. Well, you know, you go driving around here, styling and profiling. Woo, looking as only Scott Schrader of Vault Investments can do. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Sunshine Locksmith Eddie. Not to be left out of the conversation, because I don't like to be left out of the conversation. Well, today I've got a special treat for you today. What we have here is just a small collection of of all the keys that I have hanging on here uh, from vintage motorcycles, house and padlocks, uh, vintage motorhome, stuff like that. Well, what we have here is a small, just a piece of a collection of the vintage uh, and classic Lamborghini, Ferrari, uh, Fiat's, the uh, Italian automobile, vir virtually every automobile uh, that's uh, uh, made in Italy. Uh, here's your uh, Porsches. And your Roll, classic Rolls Royce. We're just going to talk about these right now. Uh, what we have here, uh, I actually owned every one of these vehicles at one time or another. Uh, Lamborghini Uraco, uh was close to the Ferrari Dino. We had the Ferrari 328. I also owned several Porsches, 911s, 930s, slant nose, uh, 914s, 914 sixes, and about nine Rolls Royces of all various models uh, and I've been working on these vehicles for about 40 years uh, as far as the locks and the uh, keys are concerned and I've accumulated all of the keys for these classic vehicles I actually rekey them as people lose the keys uh, I've had Ferrari door locks sent to me where we had to go ahead and fit a key to it and uh, we keyed it to that so it would fit the other doors and the Porsches and I specialize in the classic Rolls Royce. So what we have here, this is one of my Ferrari, this is one of my old set from the Ferrari uh, or the uh, Lamborghini uh, Uraco that I had. You have your Neiman key, this is a Neiman blank right here uh, as you can see that, all right. Uh, Neiman on both sides, made in Germany. All right. We also have the uh, other key here, the, and then we have the door key. So we have the door key, uh, another compartment key, and uh, uh, the ignition key, which fit the Lamborghini, which would also fit the uh, other various, the Jalpas, uh, the Espadas, the Kuntox, and stuff like that. All right. Uh, these are your various keys here. Uh, F79 ones, FD37, FD38, F91 C2, F91 CR. They use different keyways in their models, which I've amassed all of them. Uh, then you have your FT43s, your FT46s. All right, that fit the uh, various Ferrari and Lamborghini and Fiat's uh, FT45s, which be, would be the reverse of the FT46. So you never knew what uh, the uh, makers were going to use as far as the keyway. Whatever they had on hand, they would just order them and put them in the various models. Uh, here's actually an original Fiat key uh, that stamped Fiat that would fit one of their vehicles, which Fiat would also fit uh, the Italian sports cars as well. Uh, this was another one. We actually had the Ferrari 30, uh, 328, which I have the keys here somewhere. But these were the old, uh, this was what, 30 years ago. Uh, this was one of the old original uh, Lamborghini things we had there. Again, you had your uh, FT43 blank. You could see the, the real close uh, pin, they're really tight down in there with the cuts. They're, they weren't spaced out like some of the other models. They were very tight in there um, as far as the pins were concerned. Uh, this was the Neiman. There you go. Neiman made in Germany. That was, I believe that was the ignition key right there uh, at one time. So then we also have the blanks for that. That would have been your uh, SP7s. And then you also had your uh, SP9s. 
which would fit those right there. Uh, the Porsches, you have your Porsche models, your Porsche PO5, PO6, PO7s, along with the old Porsche 356s, and even the original Porsches that took the old, old key. All right, this is an Ilco KP1. Uh, we also have the K, uh, NE10 that would fit those. These would, and the a really old 64K. Uh, as a matter of fact, I made this for a friend of mine's 356 Porsche, so I have the keys for that. Uh, these were the Porsches. Uh, this was the blank that I had there. This would have been the uh, Porsche P05 original key uh, from Porsche that I had there that I used for my vehicle at the time. From down here, we have the old Rolls Royces from the 1920s, uh, 62HAs, 62HC, 62HBs, and then we went to the 62HF, the Ds, the Es, the old 62JB blank. Uh, so these fit the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, uh, through various Rolls Royce models. All right, uh, from the 1940s to the 50s, it was the 62 JB blank. Uh, when you went to the 1955s to the 1969s, you went to the 62 HB, 62 HA. Now, Rolls Royce uh, uh, hired Yale to make to make their keys. The reason they wanted Yale Town and Country to do them because of the grooving. They were able to make. Uh, lots of grooves in their keyways. Yale already had the patent on those, so they wanted to make their uh, locks uh, pick-proof and stuff like that at the time. So by putting a lot of grooves in that key on both sides, okay, it made it harder to be able to duplicate a key without it. Uh, the later models, you can see, it actually had a secondary groove in there along with the uh, grooves on the other side. We also have the wheel locks. Now these would have fit the BMW Alpina, which I've made keys for. I actually did a video on that a few months ago. That actually for the Speedline, Rolls Royce, uh, and all those other ones that have a locking wheel uh, hubcap on it, this was the blank for that, the DM31. So those companies whether it was Alpina or whether it was Speedline or well, Bentley, uh, they were all the same, but they used the uh, this blank right here, the DM31. So whether we're talking about classic old Bentleys, old Rolls Royces, old Ferraris, old Lamborghinis, uh, we actually have all the old vintage automobiles. If you're talking about the old Packards, I have the Packards, the supercharged, the keys that go for that. Uh, we have Mr. Sunshine Locksmith that he has made them. As a matter of fact, I have a friend of mine, Bob McCune, who is a Packard collector. He's got one of the very first Packards ever made from the 1900s. And uh, from time to time, he'd come up and we'd make him some keys. Uh, a lot of you guys are looking for the original Lamborghini blank. Uh, that, you're going to be paying a lot of money. A Rolls-Royce original blank that was chrome-plated with Yale written on it. You're going to pay anywhere from 200 to 50 for a blank if you can find it. Uh, but we have pretty much all the blanks. As a matter of fact, I have a few of them that with the original uh, Fiat names on them. Uh, you actually have most of them are all Ilkos, all right? But if you need a spare key, uh, we're going to be able to help you. This was an original Neiman all right, Neiman made in Germany. That was the blanks that came for the Lamborghinis and stuff like that. So there you have it, a little tutorial video on some classic car keys. Uh, I actually have uh, virtually everything, uh, whether we're talking about Saabs, talking about old Volvos. Uh, we could actually talk about Renaults. Uh, and then the old Toyotas, Volkswagen. I have some of the oldest Volkswagen keys there, uh, right there. Some of the old ones that fit from the 50s and 60s. Then uh, over here, we've got your uh, all your old classic General Motors, Ford, Chrysler. Uh, there's your old Chrysler keys. We actually have the old AMC. So there you have it right here in Sunnyside.